so your background is real estate and, uh, and development. Do you have anyone on your team with any airline experience at all? Not really. We had a, a pilot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he flew, uh, he was the first officer, flew for a Canadian regional, flew um, small jets, but that's about it. So how do you go about either faking it or getting someone on your no, team that knows what they're doing? Well, we, we, researched, we researched it very, very thoroughly. Um, we spent months and months researching what it cost to, to acquire aircraft, what it cost to get slots, what it cost to maintain airplane how many peanuts people would eat on a flight. I mean, you name it, we had, we had it every conceivable cost that we could think of um, documented and, and we had a business plan that was about this thick. But uh, the one problem we had is that we had no credibility. Um, we were just a bunch of, I wasn't that young, I was 48. And um, so I, we, we hadn't had any experience and so to raise capital, we, need, we figured we needed to raise about a total of about $24 million. And um, so we, we decided, we, I said, well, we've got, what we've got to do is to find an executive, a frustrated executive from Southwest, from, there's another company called Valley Jet at the time, someone who could lend their credibility to us. Um, and I was discussing this in the lobby of my office with Mark at the time. And there was a young guy sitting there with a business plan he was trying to sell me on uh, to invest in. And he was a Mormon guy from Salt Lake City, emigrated to Canada. And uh, he overheard my conversation of, of, of needing to find a frustrated executive somewhere from a, a, you know, a successful airline. And he turned to me and he said, well, I couldn't help but overhear your conversation. Uh, why didn't you talk to Morris Air? And Morris Air was uh, a low-cost carrier, very successful, started by June Morris in, in Salt Lake City. Um, with, uh, they started in the charter business and then grew it into the conventional airline and they sold out to Southwest. June Morris, um, I forget how much she invested in it originally, but she sold out for $130 million. And, um, and David Nealman was her uh, CEO. And um, David had signed a non-compete with Southwest, was unable to work in the United States, but could work in Canada. So we approached him and asked him if he would come up to Canada and have a look at it, with our plan, he did. Got very excited about it. And I asked him if he would run it. He said, no. He said, you guys can run it. I, I, he said, but it will work. He said, I'm sure it'll work. He said, well, I said, well, will you invest in it? He said, yes, how much do you want? So I said, well, how about 200,000? So he, he agreed and uh, put in 200,000 at uh, what equivalent would be about eight cents a share today. Uh, that stock is today 1250. <laughs> so okay, well let's let, so for everyone who doesn't know, can you say who David Nealman is? Well, uh, I, anybody who's involved in the airline business in, in, or studied business in the United States, David Nealman left us after his five-year non-compete with Southwest was over and started JetBlue, using many of the ideas we had, together with the ideas he had for Morris Air, and went and started JetBlue. And now after JetBlue, he's starting Azul in, Azul in, in, Brazil. in Brazil. Same concept.